this weekend, we haven't got a great deal planned, which is lovely because it gives us time. And time means I've got time to cook, which is fantastic because I enjoy it. Kate enjoys my food and everyone likes a full tummy. Now, I am going to cook a chicken shawarma. Sh shawarma. Shawarma. Chicken kebab is what I'm cooking, basically. It is, it is basically a chicken gyros, is what we're actually the end product is going to be. But I'm going to be smoking the chicken on a ginormous plate and a spike. Fun enough, like this one, actually. What are the odds? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a pan, which I haven't unwrapped yet. Wow! With three different spikes. Voila! That go there and. Oh, I've got onions. Oh well, I'll have to go back to the shop. You put the spike on, marinate a load of chicken breast, that's a lie, marinate a load of chicken thighs, spike, 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 onion on top to compress it all down, put it in the smoker, and voila, you have a gorgeous chicken sh chicken kebab. Yeah, so that's gonna be happening tomorrow, but today I'm gonna be filleting the chicken thighs, marinating them for 24 hours, so the chicken is delicious. Ooh. That's pretty much my plan for the next hour. And then I'm gonna take the dog out. So, time to fill up these chicken thighs and get them marinated. And also, I know some people don't care about my cooking and some people do, but if you'd like me to do more of an in-detailed recipes, then please say, because then I can make you some videos on them and I can give you the actual ingredients, the amount of tablespoons that go in and blah, 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 blah. But if you don't care, then no problem, because this is gonna be a time lapse and it should be over in a few minutes. Time to do the chicken. Cue some funky music whilst I cut my chicken thighs! One, two, three! Chicken thighs, done! Now, it's time to make the marinade. I don't know the recipe, I need that phone. So uh, let me have a look at the recipe, then we'll start the time lapse. I forgot my marinating bag, so I'm gonna have to use a good old classic sandwich bag. But that doesn't matter. Right, recipe sorted, pestle and mortar acquired. Time to make the marinade. Three, two, one, hit it! Up next, we've got cardamom pods. And they look like little bits of, uh, I don't know, little miniature sweet corns. But let's have a, let's see what they're like. Oh, oh, <laughs> Flipping now! Oh, they're like something you'd have rubbed all over you in a massage parlor. Oh, they are fragrant. Jeez. A tablespoon of massage oil. Anyway, back to the time lapse. It was a time lapse of an absolute nightmare. Turns out these little massage smelling pods are pods for a reason, because the seeds are within the pod. And I've just put them in the pestle and mortar and started crushing them. And turns out I need to get the seeds out of the pods before I start crushing them. Fantastic. Yeah, might be here for a while. I'm not gonna give up, look, pod, seed. Anywho, continue the time lapse. Marination drama's over. Time to give it a good whisk. Oh, look at this beauty. Interesting. Mm. A bit more oil. Whoop. I'm gonna be on a diet, whatever. All right, next up, sandwich bag coming up. Chicken in, let's party. That is my chicken marinated. It's gonna lay nicely in the fridge for 24 hours until I come back and meet it tomorrow morning. Time to clean all this up. Three, two, one. Bloody hell, it worked! Whoa. Oh, I don't know what else I can do with this. Off for a dog walk. Do you know what? It's been absolutely lovely since we got back from the new forest to Say we've kind of lived a bigger slice of normality would 100% be true. Like today, for example, this morning, Kate's taken the day off work and she's arranged for one of her prenatal 
uh, mums to come with her son Harry to come around our house for our first ever play date with a friend of Teddy's. And it just felt really weird for me, to be honest. Like the first thing you see is a child walking in that's the same age as Teddy. And um, there is so many little triggering bits about it, just whether they're going to share food, whether they're going to gonna risk of infection, all these different things. But we said when he got his all clear results and his CD4 counters up that we've got to let this boy live. And um, it was just amazing to see the two little boys just sitting there playing and sharing toys. And yeah, obviously I didn't film any of it purely because of the fact that out of respect for the other mum, I didn't know whether she wanted to have her child filmed, etc., etc. Here's a couple of photos of just them playing. Just amazing to see, it really, really is. And for Teddy just to be able to see other children, it should be amazing for him because they had both had a biscuit each which the mum bought and um, yeah, Teddy was watching the other little little kid Harry eat his biscuit and I think that would be incredible for Teddy's whole lack of eating, you know, seeing a child of his size and his age eat, it would almost make him feel left out, you know, so all these little things are just, we are slowly introducing into our life now are just hopefully only going to benefit him even more. And now Kate's taking him to his cousin Arthur's house for another little play date tomorrow. I'm working all morning, Kate wants to go to the gym, so we're dropping around my sisters to have a play date with Maddie and Ellis. So all of these different interactions with children, yes, it's a risk of infection, and yes, there is a worry there underlying. I'd be a liar if I said there wasn't, but it's incredible for him. It's good to stimulate his mind, stimulate his body, because it's just constantly on the move. And um, yeah, it's just fantastic to just, again, feel that slice of normality. Obviously, I know we've had some pretty rocky and rough times over the last two, three months. But again, I, it doesn't go unnoticed, all of your comments and everything that you guys do, your constant support for us and Teddy on our channel is just mind blowing. It really, really is. So I just wanted to take the time out to say thank you again to each and every one of you that have constantly stood by us from the minute we decided to share our journey. And um, yeah, it just, it means the world. It really does. And we do read all of your comments. Yes, we do live a really busy and hectic lifestyle. But as and when the comments come through, we do scroll through them and have a good read. And they are just appreciated beyond belief. And it just makes the bug to want to continue this channel and grow it further and further to continue to raise awareness even bigger which is exactly why we wanted to start this membership because the want for our channel to grow and get bigger is there and that's what we want to do and that's what we want to do for the rest of our lives we want to continue sharing our journey in whichever direction our life takes us and we can do that with your help you know so once again it's um yeah, if you're interested in those memberships, please feel free to take a look. The link will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, any help is just, we are beyond grateful. I love this walk that we go on. It's literally so local to our house, but check this out. This whole forest just gets absolutely flooded with bluebells and um, it's beautiful. Check this out. Although they haven't quite popped their heads out yet, they are waiting to burst and ugh, it's just going to be lovely. And it's a sign of spring and spring means summer's on its way and summer means good times, a lot of times in the garden with friends and family. And yeah, I feel massively grateful. I really do. And I'm trying my utmost to just make the most of all of this. I'm fully aware of Teddy's diagnosis and although we're clear now, it may not be forever, but that being the point, we are clear now, so we need to take it with both hands and just appreciate everything. So, uh, yeah, it's something I'm trying to trying to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And now our life is kind of slowly settling back down from the intensity of all the hospital trips, the tests and all this sort of stuff, although there are some still coming. And currently, they're not as frequent. So it's something that we've discussed that we want to spend some more time on giving back to you guys which is why as part of some of the membership they include things like priority to comments and we're going to be doing live streams we're going to be doing early access to videos and all these different things and although it's only a small supplement each month from from you guys it's something that you know it helps us feel like we're giving back to you because we genuinely just appreciate each and every one of you and if you don't want to be a member that's also absolutely okay you're still going to receive the same content but there's just added perks if you do want to be a member and just including supporting us as a family and supporting the channel we've also had some lovely ideas now we've got a little bit more time on our hands including giving back about things like merchandise 
we, it's something that we've kind of explored in the past but didn't have the time to fully complete it. So if you're interested in our merchandise or us bringing out some merchandise, the plan behind it would be that we create these t-shirts and hoodies and jumpers and what have you. And uh, yeah, a percentage of each of our profits will go to charity. So it's a way that we want to be giving back to help other people that are going through their journey, but also for you guys to have a little bit of personalized merchandise from us as the Bridge family. So if you're interested in that, please pop a comment below because we're really intrigued to see whether it's worth us exploring or whether nobody's really interested in merchandise at all and we should use our time wisely elsewhere. I know when I was preparing my chicken earlier, I said to you guys that we don't have any plans this weekend. We've got absolutely nothing planned and I tell you what, nothing feels good. After what we've been through in terms of, you know, always having appointments in the diary to have tests, to have results, to have all the expectations to do something. Actually, nothing sounds amazing. And uh, we're going to try and implement that into our life a little bit and not be so hectic. And actually, it will allow us to appreciate the times with Teddy. And it's okay to sit on the sofa and do nothing with him because that's still super special. I very much have this bug in my belly that I need to make the most out of all the time with him, which is true, absolutely true. But I've seen a few comments and I appreciate them from you guys saying that we need to take some time out for ourselves, And um, we do do that. We do do that from time to time. My mum is uh, one of our sole carers of Teddy in terms of overnight stays. And it's kind of dictated by when she's in or out of the country or whether she's busy or not, she's got a life as well. So we do do that and we want to try and do that a little bit more often. But um, it's important that nothing's absolutely okay as well. So the sun is shining this morning and what an amazing excuse to get out in the garden. I've got all some little seedlings out in the sun, seeing their first bit of sunlight. And I've also planted some more little flowers that I just got sucked into buying Tesco's. But the main thing that I'm going to be doing today is where we've placed our little footsteps all the grass seems to have grown over it and the, the tiles underneath are actually pretty big so I'm gonna cut around them try and restore this walkway up to the decking area let's see how we get on steps need a good brush off but you can actually see where you're meant to be walking but yeah obviously I had all of this weed sprayed the other day and they're coming back in about four weeks time to respray them again but it'd be interesting to see what it's all like because the weeds here are awful obviously that's grass weed but yeah always wear gloves chaps and it turns out little doctor's nurse's gloves aren't suffice. Now my next job is to clear up this patio because there is moss and loads of rubbish and all of the mud and wood chippings that I've created whilst cutting and building this bar is settling on our patio. And with the summer coming, that means people are coming around. That means lots of barbecues. That means lots of entertaining. So the patio needs a good revamp. And I've got this stuff called patio magic, which you hoover up everything off the patio and lay it down and let it just sit and dry and it eats away at all the moss and the algae that is sat on top of the tiles. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So it's time to get rid of this table, everything off the patio, and then we can put the patio magic down. This is the sort of stuff that we need to get up with a little algae. That is the majority of the patio all clear and then uh, cover the whole patio and let it do its work. everyone so Scott's outside doing back garden stuff Teddy's having a nap so I think I'm gonna tackle the front drive so we've got all these little bits of moss in the driveway weeds down that side weeds all down this side so yeah a bit of tidying up to do um, I'll pop you on a time lapse and see how we go Teddy's napping by the way, if anyone's wondering where he is. He had a play date round my sister's house this morning, which gave us a bit of time. Kate went to the gym, I had my clients, and then now we are both doing a bit of gardening. Yeah. 
Come to see what you're doing. Slowly getting there. Just need to put my gravel all the way up the hedgerow now around the daffodils and other little wild flowers we've got going on there. So, Kate has just been to Morrison's supermarket and uh, bought some nice pots. So we've just bought a couple of lavender bushes and a few more plants just to Get this garden looking absolutely beautiful. So, uh, time to pot these plants. There we have it. Pot of lavender, some nice pot of armeria, and a nice carnation. All potted, ready to make this garden look banging. God, I'm looking forward to summer. So nice just to be out here pottering. As we said, we're not doing a lot this weekend and this is what not a lot looks like. We end up getting busy and just making the most of actually being able to get the house and the garden in order whilst the sun is shining. But I'm going to get myself cleaned up and uh, just before Teddy wakes up so Kate can carry on on the driveway. And yeah, I can have some time playing with Teddy. So that is the hard graft done and we are just going to go and take Willow now for a walk. We might even stop off for a drink on the way home before we chill out for the evening and i get this cook on all packed up ted ready to go for what willow look at willow's little face and <laughs> willow's ready you holding you holding willow she's pulling you up the hill stinky breath It is time to spike the shawarma. Let's go. Half an onion. Onto the spike. Voila. Chicken. Onto the spike. Spiked onion. Chicken shawarma. Okay, here we go. One sloppy cup of Greek yogurt. Shit load of garlic. Bit of lemon juice. Teaspoon of freshly ground cumin. Salt meat. Pepper. Give it a good mix. nice freshly made yogurt dip. All served in a respectable adult dish rather than a tiger dish. You helping daddy cook? What's this? Your spoon? Me. Big spoon. Wow. Big. Big. You want another big spoon? Yeah. Two big spoons. Whoa! Dibashin! That's it! He just asked for toast and it's now 7 o'clock. He's usually going to spend it half past 6. But, for this life, we just play it by ear. So we're going to try and have some toast, aren't we? Whilst bashing some ginormous spoons. Would you like another big spoon? Yeah. Wow! Big! Big! Would you like another big spoon? Yeah. Big! Another big flat spoon? Yeah. Flat. Yeah. Yeah. Flat. Oh, toast ready? Yeah. yeah. Toast, and what are we putting on your toast? Butter. Butter, good boy. Would you like me to cut it? Teddy. Teddy, cut it. Wow. Are you Teddy doing the butter? You just put your butter on with your big spoon. Thank you for helping, mate. I wouldn't be able to make this toast without you and your big spoon. 
Cross for me. Cross for Willow. Right. Butter done. Toast done. Spoons away. Should we go have some toasty? You want to take your spoon in with you? Yeah. Both of them? Both. You're going to go and have some toasty? Yes. Okay, done. Let's go. Two. With two spoons. What we need two spoons for toast with? I don't know. But we shall go with it. I mean, that's a ginormous spoon for a bit of toast. Did you want some? No. So you made Daddy make that all for no reason? perfect time to end this video for the week don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and remember guys live for today as tomorrow is never promised